everyone, Louise here. Um, welcome to my mammoth pick a song lyric regarding your love life right now video. Um, as you may have seen in the slide before, we have 18 different songs to choose from. You can choose them, uh, what your emotion is regarding your love life right now. Um, if you like the song, if you hate the song, um, if you like the lyrics, whatever you feel drawn to right now, there may be one or two you need to watch. Um, so listen, listen to the track um, or read the lyrics on something like songlyrics.com. Pick one or two and then look in the timestamp below. These are the cards I'll be working with today. Not all of them in each um, video. So I'll just use whatever I'm drawn to. We have here, we have the Ascended Masters by Doreen Virtue. Here, I, I don't know if you can, the camera can pick that up. It says Romantic Expectation. These are the Flowers of Love Oracle Cards by Lo Scarabia. We, here we have the Dog wisdom cards by tanya graham that's just a fun oracle uh light-hearted here we have the animal the power animal oracle cards by stephen farmer here we have the alice in wonderland tea leaf reading cards by karen dalton smith Here we have the Lover's Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno, Salerno. And last but not least, I love this card. It is so funny, the devil. We have the Quirky Housewives Tarot by Paul Keppel and Jude Buffum. Uh, I love that one. That's like a 1950s. It's very um, entertaining based on the 1950s. And we have my tea leaf reading charms. So there's, they're all the cards I'll be working with today. So go ahead and pick your song and go to the section that you're interested in, to the songs that you're interested in, and I'll be back with you soon. Hi everyone, welcome back. If you've chosen the first song, it's Girls Just Wanna Have Fun by Cindy Lauper or Lauper, however you like to say it. Um, well, this song to me, if you remember watching it when we were younger, the video, she's getting on, a, getting in a mum's hair, a mum's thinking, what on earth are you doing with your life, Cindy? Uh, but she's just like really carefree. So there's a couple of scenarios here where you, where you might have chosen it. You might be young, free and single. You might be a bit older, free and single. Perhaps you are starting out on your romantic journey. Perhaps you've been with somebody broken up and you are enjoying yourself again. The other scenario is that maybe you are in a committed relationship or a not so committed relationship and it's stale you're bored you could be bored you could be feeling stuck uh you could be with that girl or oh man yes this could be for men as well you could be wanting to go out and have a good time and get back to you so what the cards that have come up are the camel ten of wands and this here is the water lily which says in possible dream interesting and the charms we have the balloon the fairy and the sword or knife the sword but it's a knife isn't it uh so these two are very similar so the camel is about you know that there's a long journey ahead 
Um, and this, the Ten of Wands is also talking about the burdens and responsibilities. Uh, maybe you feel that having being in a relationship right now is too much of a responsibility. Perhaps you, if you've not really um, experienced deep relationships, perhaps you've seen things with your parents, perhaps um, friends thinking, oh God, Ed, it's too much trouble. Maybe you've been through that rocky relationship or you've had love and you've lost it. The relationship that you're in now, too much responsibilities um but you know that the camel does get there in the end he's sure-footed it when i feel those do you remember this is the general reading but i feel those that have picked this option you know that you want to be in it for the long term and you will get there in the end but at the moment you've got it feels like there'll be too much responsibility and on your shoulders and with this, we have the impossible dream. You don't feel that it's going to work out. The balloon can be about rising pressure and stress. This relates to these two. The fairy, it's like an inner child type scenario. Um, you want you see you seeking out your. Um, you really want some freedom right now um be more childlike perhaps that's what you would like in a relationship the knife is advising you if deep down you do want that wonderful committed relationship the knife's ad advising you to cut away these feelings these negative feelings here let's um have a look at um an animal card see what the animal kingdom's advice is oh this is interesting we have moose authority you know what is best for you interesting so yeah just just enjoy having fun right now don't be pressured to uh, take up a relationship start a relationship even stay in a relationship that is dragging you down but you have your own authority. You know what's right for you. And we have patience. Patience is a virtue. It's like the camel here. It's going to take time. It's going to take time. Uh, what else shall we look at? We will look. We'll have an ascended master. Some advice how to move forward. Balance career and home life isis which is interesting if you are plagued with the responsibilities and the pressures holding you back well i hope that's helped uh, option one thank you hello option two um this song is tell me when by the human league so you may have chosen this one because you want to know when you're going to see them again, obviously. So, um, there's a few scenarios here, but I think you've probably uh, met somebody at some point. Perhaps you're just starting out on um, a new relationship. Uh, perhaps you are, you are um, in a bit more of a committed relationship. Uh, you could be on a break, all sorts of reasons. You could be in a, been with them quite a while. They could be working away. Uh, you could be working away. Um, all sorts of reasons why you might not be with somebody. Uh, of course, this is a general meet, reading. Um, some of you will see them again. Some of you won't. So we have the chair. Ten of Pentacles, and this here is the Columbine, which says perfect love. This seems very encouraging here. So, the chair can be about somebody entering your life and somebody leaving your life. So, some of you, you might not see them again, they may go, but others, 
they will hang around. So we have uh, also we have the frog, the balloon, and the tunnel. So the chair can also mean uh, I feel with this you many of you need to get off your backside and do something. The Ten of Pentacles, uh, achievement, wealth, family. I feel that whether they are coming back, you will see them again or you won't see them again. Spirit is advising you to get off your backside and um, achieve your dreams. Work hard. So when, when, when will you see them again or will when will you get confirmation that you're not going to see them again? Whatever, the most important thing is to get your life um, sorted out, get your dreams, working on your dreams, working on your achievements for you. But also maybe they are working away, they're busy and they want to sort out their dreams and their family and their wealth and their achievements so you come together uh, this is nice though we have the perfect love so you would I feel many of you are do want the commitment you do want the perfect life with them which is shown here um, I feel all of you most of you will achieve that with somebody whether it's the person you're inquiring about that or somebody new entering your life uh, but it's working on your dreams and goals towards um, achievement which may be with somebody new or the person that you're with if that makes sense we have the frog which is about taking the leap of faith it can also be about jittery nerves uh, feeling a bit jumpy take a leap of faith towards um, getting your dream house, your dream home, your dream life with or without this person. Uh, the balloon could be the rising stress associated with the frog, the nerves, but it, on a positive note it can be um, celebrations which we have here. The tunnel shows that um, you are stuck in a bit of, um, you're missing somebody you are stuck in a tunnel in a bit of the dark at the moment but just look forward to the light at the end of the tunnel this isn't a bad thing at all uh, you are you will see the light soon so let's have a look <clears throat> at an animal guides um, advice from the animal kingdom on um, how we get out of this tunnel and how we do see the light rabbit fertility your creativity is at a peak that's nice so um this bit we want to achieve first here get creative um get your passion back in life um also when because the question is when uh rabbit to me is associated with spring um fertility i feel also with the um pan you know the the guy the um the uh, the spirit guide pan I associate with that with spring so some of you I feel drawn to say that you might things might get sorted out in this situation in the springtime that's general though not all of you because um, it'll be when somebody new comes into your life that could be another option um, let's have a look at a dog card how are we going to get out this tunnel Ah, oh, that's interesting. Enthusiasm. This touches on what I said here, the passion, the creativity. Have the enthusiasm to achieve your dreams and your goals. Uh, so, yeah, there's a few situations that could be going on here, but the main thing is to work on your, um, almost like your internal, personal wealth. Uh, so you can have the happy family situation with this person or somebody new that could come into your life. So tell me when. Some of you next spring or, uh, or when we're getting on the road to achieving this home life, perfect home life. Okay, thank you. 
Hello Option 3. This song is um, All By Myself by Eric Carmen. Now, if you've chosen this one, if you think about the lyrics, I'm not going to sing it, but it's all by myself. I don't want to be all by myself anymore. And then he goes on about when I was young, I didn't need anyone or something like that. So this man is saying that um, when he was young, he was happy to be by himself. He didn't need um, a relationship much in his life. But now it, we tend to think of this song as, um, sorry to say it, a bit needy. Um, it's like somebody who's looking back over their life. They've been on their own far too long. Um, but it's more like a needy, what, needy song. Uh, as opposed to the first one, Cindy Lauper, girls just want to have fun when they're happy to a certain extent being single. This person uh, feels lonely. So let's have a look at the cards. We have the anchor, page of pentacles and calendula, which says disappointment in love. I don't know if the camera can pick up, but so that's interesting to start with. So um, this to me, now we always think of women as being the needy ones. Well, society thinks that women are the needy people. This seems a very masculine we, masculine um, spread here. We have the page of pentacles and the song is a man generally singing it. There's a Celine Dion version, so you could switch that if you wanted to, but we think of the man singing it. Uh, so in my head, I've got the man singing it. So the anchor, uh, the anchor can be about security because it could also be about stubbornness um so maybe uh the masculine energy been on their own for quite some time uh stubborn set in their ways maybe unable to share their life with somebody else um page of pentacles here uh somebody who perhaps spent a lot of time working on their career and to the detriment of everything else they they like um as you see here they've got all the plates they're collecting like collecting things uh collecting money <laughs> uh collecting their wealth um their security uh but it's left them disappointed in love that feel with some of you there's um there's not been a connection here uh, because at some points in your life you've been perhaps unwilling or unable to share your possessions perhaps uh we have the owl uh the seahorse and the dog so the owl is about wisdom uh, I also feel um, it's about signs and symbols. So obviously you are seeking somebody. Uh, look out for the symbols and signs in your life. Uh, the spirit's advice may be to um, ask for help in your dreams. Ask before you go to bed at night. Ask spirit to help you how you can connect with um, other people to tell you something about the potential love of your life how you can get back into the dating game so to speak so yeah look out for the signs and symbols um synchronicity if you feel drawn perhaps you stay in a lot um in your comfortable stable situation your home or maybe you're not maybe it isn't as stable as you would like and you don't you feel anxious and you don't feel able to go out so much but look out for signs synchronicity where you should go to places to meet people that type of thing the seahorse um it's about uniqueness you're seeking a unique person a person that will match you maybe on an intelligence level i feel this you are intelligent people you just don't want to be with anybody for the sake of it this anchor quite serious this is you you want somebody that is unique that matches <clears throat> you and your personality that 
it's going to be like a big effort to be with somebody long term so you you need somebody that's unique that's going to really interest you and so you're more tied down with them but in a happy way and the dog you want friendship you want the person to be your best friend um loyalty trust um it can also be a thing the synchronicity to go out and make new friends or see if anything with your friends can develop into something let's have a look what the animal kingdom tells us how can we make friends or connect with other people so we don't feel so lonely monkey inge inge i can't say ingen ingenuity the situation calls for adaptability and innovation so you need to be more adaptable <clears throat> with other people um think up new ways to go out and have fun with other people the monkey is also about childlike um in a child uh, being a bit more cheeky not being so serious here um feeling so lonely and isolated but um yeah so, sort of more um cheeky uh you know witty which you are i feel you are deep down let's have a look at the lovers oracle answered prayer your prayer will be answered now that is lovely so thinking about the owl here do ask spirit for help particularly in your dreams ask for signs how do i meet somebody how do i get away from this um needy situation how do i be more um I'm, i feel you're very resilient and um all right on your own financially and career probably but how do i open up to people and um be more sociable i feel and we'll have a dog card affection okay so yeah you, you'd love some affection and you'd love to give affection remember it's a two-way process um don't just take we need give and take so um be more open to um just a hug giving hugs receiving hugs um being more affectionate in general and that will help with this situation so thank you hello option four song four is why by carly simon so it's why does your love hurt so much and some of the lyrics are something like um you say our love was crazy um so i feel that um you may be in a relationship right now but i think mainly you've broken up and um the other person feels that um your relationship may have been a bit crazy a bit um, over the top but we'll have a look at the cards so we have cherries king of wands and poppy here which i don't think you can see it says loneliness suffered okay so that points to yes yeah, she was with somebody but now you're on your own or maybe you're with somebody but um feeling lonely in the relationship so the cherries is about sweetness abundance and it is the start of a new relationship which may or may not last but it think about cherries all fruit is sweetness uh, they're in pears bunches that type of thing um it could be about too much of a good thing i feel that some of you don't forget this is a general reading but some of you met somebody um you started a relationship it took off very quick it was very exciting very sweet very abundant um you had a great time to start with um the king of wands here 
uh, so, so a lot of you will be women watching this uh, but doesn't have to be that um, there's the male energy of the king of wands so we have a charismatic person here who's confident full of encouragement but it could mean a strained relationship with someone who expected too much of you um maybe they felt that this relationship it was both going out and having i don't know too much fun or maybe they the king of wands bold confident can be annoying could be a bit arrogant there's too much going on uh but now we're feeling lonely we have the monkey the dress and the giraffe so here this monkey probably belongs to the king of wands the monkey can be about immaturity so there is some immaturity in this relationship probably from this masculine the other person the masculine energy um, yeah they were very bold and confident enthusiastic about the relationship at first but but they're also immature uh, not not um, the immature they, they uh, couldn't bring something into long term the feminine energy the dress this is the female uh, they couldn't see they couldn't appreciate the woman's point of view the feminine point of view um, they're this is a man's man I feel and he um, can't see the woman's point of view the giraffe is about the future is the giraffe's very tall he's looking ahead so um, you will be able to see how to proceed in the future you'll, you'll, we will have some foresight you'll be able to see look down over your problems and see the best way to move forward with this why does your love hurt so much we'll have a look at, an, at a card from the animal kingdom so how do we see into the future what's going to happen and why does it hurt so much is there a possibility we'll be able to sort this out? Swan, Grace, appreciate the beauty inside and all around you. Okay, that's very nice and promising. The swan is the soulmate symbol. So this, <clears throat> this was a very powerful relationship when it was in its, at its height very abundant and sweet and loving and enthusiastic whatever you feel about it they are a soulmate soulmates can be good and not so good so they did come into your it's more about they came into your life for a reason so they are a soulmate they've come to um meet with us it's about not learning a lesson but we, we met you've met for a purpose and you will learn and grow from this relationship let's have a look at a love card another love card cast away your concerns come rest in my embrace hmm so your love does hurt but I don't I don't think it's necessarily over for some of you so well, let's have a dog card why is it that they may come back they may come back if they can understand your side wonder they are fascinated by you and you are fascinated by them there's the two of you here look you're almost like matching twins almost like a twin flame type thing this could be a twin flame relationship as well uh, which are notoriously difficult soulmates twin flames we need to go a bit further with this because some of you you, you will get back together let's have a look at some more charms will you get back together will you be able to sort this out 
elephant and cat. So elephant is uh, memories, a long, a long, a long road ahead. You've shared past lives together. Uh, I don't have my past lives cards on me at the moment, but yes, you've had a very long road through very, um, several lives together. This is a soulmate or twin flame relationship. You annoy the hell out of each other and won't be able to let go and it hurts. And the cat, lot of independence going on here. Um, they, the masculine, the male probably wants his own to be on his own at the moment. Um, in the twin flame situation there can be a runner and a chaser. Maybe you are running after him right now. Let's have a look. What can we do about this? A lot going off in this situation. Rabbit and the sheep. That's interesting. The sheep, contentment. The cat is also contentment. So you need to find your own inner peace. The sheep, they're all standing in the field doing their own thing, chewing. They're together in a group but doing their own thing and it's about feeling content. The rabbit is about fertility, being creative. So I feel you, you need to just let go for the time being. Obviously you may need to grieve but um, find your creative passionate self and seek some inner peace and contentment. Be a bit more independent maybe don't don't be needy find some female friends the cat is also about female friends so whether regardless whether you're a, a woman or a man seek out the sheep seek out a group of female friends that will help you with this situation if you can um get a past life reading or meditate on your past lives this may help with finding out about this situation so yes, why does your love hurt so much? It's because they're your soulmate or twin flame. So it's going to be a bit of a difficult road ahead, I'm afraid. But seek out, find out about your past lives together and that will help. Seek out your a fe female group of female friends who will help you and guide you what to do. But you will find, the draft says, you will find your way forward with this and you will know what to do in the future so don't worry or panic about it so thank you hello option five so kellis caught out there i love this song it's the typical oh i hate you so much right now i'm not going to sing it ah i hate you so much right now so she's been she's caught him out he's been cheating on her and she, gosh the anger in this song is incredible so have you been cheated on have you been lied to you're really really angry angry with him aren't you so let's have a look we have the man we have the five of ones and we have lavender which is denied passion if we can pick that up there I laughed my head off when I got these cards because <laughs> it's perfect. So we have the man, he is facing away from the situation. So he's just had enough. Obviously he's, you know, he's done, he's a bad, 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 bad man in your opinion. He's facing away. He, he, I don't want nothing to do with this now, woman. <laughs> the five of wands, argument, arguments, arguments battles um it's like the need to win this argument but it's um it's like a fruitless argument uh, nobody's a real winner and uh of course we've got the denied passion um of course naturally there's not going to be any passion romance wise um physical passion now because he's been messing around or he's angered you that much 
Um, yes, so there's a lot of anger going on here. We have the charms, um, the anchor. Got four charms, a seahorse, rocking horse, and the camel. <clears throat> so the anchor stubbornness going on. Um, I feel that you're wanting to feel more secure in your emotions. It's very, very, very volatile situation. Um, you're seeking to feel more secure, um, more stable emotions. The seahorse. This is a unique situation. I feel some of you uh, have never, maybe never experienced this situation before. It's been a right shock to you, and that's why you've exploded with the anger. Um, so that's this. Don't forget, this is a general reading, but it is a unique situation to some of you. Um, he's a unique. It's maybe they're not. It isn't all about a man. This could be a woman, of course, who's got a masculine aggressive side to her that cheats so this this person this masculine person that Kellis is singing about the quite a unique person in your eyes the rocking horse so I feel with a rocking horse you're um you're rocking backwards and forwards I think it's in anger so yeah you're absolutely fuming you know can you imagine like um you're shaking with anger you're rocking forward and backwards and you still haven't got the final word in you think shall i shall i say some more shall i do something else what on earth do i do the camel says um <clears throat> yeah i've got a lot of responsibilities on my shoulders with this um it's a bit of a long, it feels like a long road. I've got to travel with this. Um, I can't seem to let go the burdens and responsibilities. Maybe um, you were together a long while. Maybe there's, I don't know, maybe there's children involved, some of you. Um, you, you this has got to go on for a while to sort it out um, rather than a casual encounter. For some reason, uh, you feel that this is a long journey ahead and you can't just get over it easily. You can't dump the responsibilities. Let's have a look at a advice from the animal kingdom. So how do we don't get rid of our responsibilities and anger in this situation? And is it possible to forgive? Okay, bear. Oh, that's interesting. We have bears. Boundaries stand your ground. Okay, so you do need to um, say your piece once and once only. Even though the man is facing away, I think he'd be up for another argument if you chose to. <laughs> but the bear is saying set your boundaries um say your piece in an assert spirit is saying say your piece one final time in an assertive not aggressive way get calm to start with uh, maybe pick up a crystal something like um an amethyst or a rose quartz hold it close to you and ask your spirit guides your angels in particular to help you um, say it maybe not face to face maybe by text or email one final word just say and then stand your ground and then you must set clear boundaries so um, probably the no contact rule so um, yes say your piece one final time and then be strong the um, bear can also be about your clan so um, I feel at the moment, some of you, it's important to stay close to your family. Maybe you could get your, your bear is your clan, your family um, may just to, to stick up for you or be united. If they know about it, of course, or be united in um, 
helping you through this situation. Stay close to your clan. Bear, not aggression, but um, assertiveness. Let's get a dog card. Um, so how can we move forward with this? Obviously, I don't think you'd want them back, would you? Or would you? Do you want them back? Eagerness. Well, that's interesting. Why have we got eagerness? Is it eagerness to move on? Or is it eagerness to get angry? I don't know. Let's get an Ascended Master card. Why are you eager? You're eager to get over this, I presume. Persistence. Okay. Eagerness and persistent part. I feel the you need to persist in um, getting over this situation. Um, there is an eagerness. You don't want to feel this way anymore. Let's have a look at a charm. Maybe, do you feel like you should forgive them? Is it possible to forgive? Is it possible to forgive? Hmm. We have planet Saturn and mushroom. So the mushroom is the anxiety, but it also can be, it's the toxins and the poisons festering away. Saturn, hard work. So that sort of goes with the persistence, determination. Um, Saturn, the planet of hard work and determination. Maybe you should throw yourself into work. Also, ask for some healing from spirit, from your angels, um, to let go of the toxic uh, feelings that are growing inside you right now. Dear. Dear is about gentleness, uh, finding your pathfinder, finding your way back to you, finding your way through the forest. So um, ask the angels to help get rid of all the toxins and um, because the deer can also be nervousness, nervousness on your part. Um, I don't want to feel this way anymore, but the gentleness I feel the gentleness will come back once you've got rid of this toxic energy inside you. Um, I don't feel that the forgiveness is there right now, but the more gentle karma in the way forward through the path through life will come to you soon. Okay, thank you. Hello, option six. So Song number six, Can't Get Used to Losing You by The Beat or Andy Williams. Um, so it's can't get used to losing you no matter what I try to do. Going to spend my whole life through loving you. Um, some of the lyrics are about I'll find somebody, wait and see, something like that. And something about... Um, I'm just a hopeless case. I feel it's about somebody um, maybe going out attempting to date again, but they couldn't think of anything to say to their date and they're just a hopeless case because they're hooked on their past partner. Um, this feels like a bereavement type situation. Um, the love of their life the love of your life, um, maybe they've actually passed away or they just can't be with them anymore because maybe they, I don't know why it ended, but it, the, the feeling is that they're actually gone, they're actually bereaved, but of course this is general, it won't be for everybody, for some reason you can't be with them anymore gonna spend my whole life loving you so would you be open would they be open to a new relationship let's have a see what the cards say so we have the key 
we have the King of Wands and the Violet, which says fixed thoughts. Interesting. So the key is about um, success. So um, <clears throat> we have a male, a masculine energy here. It could be about the male in the relationship. It could be you um, or a masculine type energy within the relationship. So that uh, this person feels, or the other person feels, it was a successful relationship. Um, the two of you, it's like the two of you worked well together. It was enthusiastic, um, passionate, confident relationship. Um, and it unlocked, the key unlocked um this confident feeling but however because the relationship's not there anymore for whatever reason um fixed thoughts focusing on this now all the time it's like um remembering just remembering all the time like it's like nobody could ever measure up to this wonderful relationship uh, such a passionate love we have the moon the dress the moon's upside down there um, and the dancer the ballerina so um, emotions very an emotional relationship um, intuition the feminine side so we have the masculine and the feminine almost um, the mass the male found the female to be very alluring um, they enjoyed the femininity the feminine side if this if you are the lady they enjoyed how you looked your beauty your grace the dancer um, I feel that um, you had a lot of fun together parties dancing that type of thing um, deep emotions with the man here um, so will they will you ever be able to go out and meet somebody new um, are you a hopeless case let's have a look at what the animal kingdom has to say lion courage ask for what you want well in the song he says um couldn't think of anything to say i expect i'm just a hopeless case so um ask for what you want in your love life have the courage to speak up for yourself uh, this can also be a helpful um, associate or friends perhaps at work perhaps there's somebody at work I feel some of you that you could um, talk to about this in business even ask, ask for what you want um, regarding new relationships if that's what you want Let's have a look at a dog card. Obviously, we need to get away from the fixation on the past, or do we? Worry. Okay. Why are you worried? Are you worried that um, a new relationship would never live up? to your past relationship the one where you were so in love or are you worried that you'll never be able to get over this um let's have a look at an ascended master card why are we worried why are we worried yoga well Obviously, you don't have to go out and do yoga, but um, 
meditate, I suppose. Um, get in flow with your body. Um, your breathing would help. Get in your body, in your mind, body and spirit balanced. We have a fox and a dragonfly. A ladybird and a leaf. This is a tricky one, this. Um, some of you would want to have a new relationship. Some of you are just worried about, they don't want a new relationship, but are worried about um, that they fix too much on the past. So the, the fox. Fox is very, they look after the their fox cubs, their children, very focused on their children, I feel, with this. So if you are bereaved or perhaps you was a young uh, mother or something, your, your focus is very much on your children right now and you don't want to bring anybody new into your life. Um, there's a need to be, um, not cunning, but um, there's a need to stick up for your for your family just in some way you don't want to bring anybody new into your family situation the dragonfly illusions um you feel that having a new relationship it, it's just um be too good to be true the ladybird though is about new love it can be about new love so and the leaf turn over a new leaf is a new start so a new start is coming and there is potential for a new love there but i feel that something to do with your children uh the need to if you think about a fox they um they get into trouble for stealing chickens and that, but they're actually looking out for their children. Um, you know, if they need to feed the children. So, yeah, there is a bit of an illusion. There's also the illusion that about this perfect relationship that you had in the past and the new one wouldn't live up to it. But there is a possibility of a new love there. But it's about a new start, turning over a new leaf. And I also feel with the new leaf, the spring marks a turning point. So you can't get used to losing them. But next spring, whenever your spring is, um, there is the possibility of a new love, if you wish to. So you, you have to think about, um, if you do have children, you've got to think about um, how you could bring somebody into the family about compromising um, things. Obviously, they be if there is a bereavement there that, or there was a very close relationship that's not there anymore, you um, they're probably missing your other half. So yeah, there is a potential for something new, but we've got to get over these fixations because you've lost this person that in your eyes was perfect. There's possibility you, you can get it back again. You've just got to turn over a new leaf, have a new start because the ladybird says there's somebody there for you whenever your personal spring is. So thank you. So, hello, song seven, Justify My Love by Madonna. So, this is a very sensual song that we all know. Um, on a practical level, you're probably a, quite a new relationship or you're attracted to somebody, maybe you've not gone out yet, maybe you've been on a few dates, maybe you've been together quite a while, but you're wondering, is it worth it? This is about the physical side mainly, I think. Um, 
are we going to get down to business um, in the bedroom? Um, so some of the lyrics we have, um, tell me your dreams, am I in them? So you're wanting to know, is there a future really for us? Um, do you go out together and have a quick peck on the cheek? Are you wondering what's going off really in their mind? Let's have a look what the cards say. So we have the chair, the high priestess, and we have trusting adoration, the sunflower. So the chair, it's about um, somebody, it can be about somebody new entering your life, somebody leaving your life. It can be about feeling comfortable. Um, are you feeling comfortable in this relationship? Are you feeling that you're feeling more comfortable there with them? You want to take it a stage further. Are they comfortable with you, but in a more lazy way? The chair could be somebody sat down, but being a bit lazy. Are they a lazy lover, shall we say? Um, they not don't want to take it to the next level right now. The High Priestess, it says here, Secret Syrup. And then we have Madonna saying, tell me your dreams, am I in them? What are they keeping from you? Um, is there something secretive they're not letting on about? Um, if I feel that you feel you don't know everything about them. You want to delve almost into their psyche. Um, does it feel like you're into them more than they are into you? Maybe a bit of frustration going on. There's something to be revealed in this relationship uh, that you need to delve into a bit more uh, before you can commit to them physically. Uh, trusting, adoration, you, you are well hooked. You want to explore this further. You, it feels like you would love them, even if you had a knockback from them for some reason. Uh, let's have a look at some charms. We have the butterfly, the crown, rose, and the ship, the boat. So a butterfly. That is the the relationship in itself. Joy, it brings you joy, but it can mean a short term relationship. It can be flirty. Maybe you want a flirty type situation at the moment. You've been flirting, um, but it on this is don't forget this is a general reading. On some occasions, this can mean a short term love. So I don't know. We have the crown here, crown obviously about royalty, um, fame. You want to feel important. You want them to feel, put you on a pedestal. The rose, beauty, but obviously the rose has thorns. Is there something prickly uh, that you've got to be careful of? The boat, the ship slow moving i feel this situation is slow moving um because they're not getting out of their chair at the moment and they're not putting you on that pedestal there's something a bit prickly about them and you're a bit concerned or you may not be concerned that it's a short-term thing maybe you want you're interested in the physical side more than you don't want a long-term relationship let's have a look a bit further about what's going on we'll have a look at an, what the animal kingdom has to say about this cougar oh <laughs> confidence be bold and take charge hmm literally are some of you the older woman <laughs> Some of you could have been the older woman. Whatever, you need to say what you want. You need to nudge them in the right direction. 
maybe they won't um, make the move physically. Maybe you do. I mean, we're all modern. We're modern women now, aren't we? This can apply to men as well. We're modern. Um, some of us want to be chased, I suppose. Some want to be courted. But it's a two-way process, two-way street. You can take the move, make the move, first move. Uh, let's have a look at an ascended master. Maybe you can tell them your dreams. Maybe you already have. They need to open up, don't they? Oh, fertility pan. Okay, interesting. Do you want to start a family? Some of you want to start a family. Uh, is there worries about getting pregnant, perhaps? Obviously, I'm not going to comment on pregnancy. It's not ethical, but maybe that is an issue. Perhaps some of you want a family and some of you don't. Just putting it out there. Uh, let's have a look at some more charms. Why are they not justifying your love just yet? Mountain or pyramid and a lion. The lion again about sticking up being more courageous, the mountain, the pyramid. Um, we've got a little way to cut. It's, it's strong. I feel this is quite a strong relationship, um, but there's a little way. Uh, it's not impossible to climb it, but it'll take so, a little bit of time, like the boat. It's a long journey. Let's have a look at some... We have the hand share sharing more. Um, share your feelings. Um, the hand of the hand of friendship. Um, share your feelings. Go with the flow. Going with the flow here. This is like the wheel of fortune, but actually you are going with the flow. Take control. Um, steer your path. So yes. Ask for what you want. If you want the more physical side, if you want them to open up more, you're going to have to ask. So I hope that helps. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Option eight, love fool. So the lyrics are love me, love me. Pretend that you love me. Fool me, fool me. Go on and fool me. I don't care about anything but you. So this is the song of the neediness, isn't it? And the denial. Um, being hooked on somebody and not being able to give them up. Um, you're more into them than they are you. Let's have a look what the cards have to say. We have the lady, the devil. And this says... Aconite, the flower aconite, guilty relationship. I just love how symbolism works in cards and charms. It's just, this just made me laugh. It's just perfect. Uh, so we have the lady here. She is you, some of you if you are female. She is um, facing away from the rest of the spread. We've got the devil. Just look at the devil, the chocolate, the woman with the chocolate cake. We've got all her vices there. And then we have the guilty relationship. So, um, yeah, so you got your vices there. They are an addiction right now. Um, you very on can't really give them up. It's hard to give them up. It's a guilty relationship. Maybe um, some of you may be going through a situation, keeping it, I feel you may be keeping it hidden from friends and family, that some of you, it may uh, be an affair, perhaps. Uh, it's almost like an affair, um, a relationship where you 
aren't particularly out in the open with it. It's a guilty relationship and addiction and you probably feel bad about it but you can't help yourself. <clears throat> the lady is trying, she's facing away, she's trying to disassociate herself from these feelings. The thing is, do you want to give them up? I would imagine a lot of you want to get over this. Uh, let's have a look at the charms. We have the tree, the crown, and the rose. So, on the positive side, the tree, uh, there's growth in this situation. But it's deep rooted, so um, the lust, the lust and the addiction, it's deep rooted, it's set there. It doesn't look like it's going to go for the time being. You're just hooked. Um, the crown, I feel it's um, some of you put the other person on a pedestal, um, but we all know about the pedestal one day they'll fall off. They may put you on a pedestal. They make you feel special. Um, but of course, at some point, we're going to fall off our pedestal. The rose, the beauty, they may feel make you feel beautiful and gorgeous, sexy. Uh, but of course, the rose has thorns. Uh, it's, there's a prickly uh, exterior. Uh, let's see a bit more. Let's have a see what the animal kingdom has to say about this. Do you want to give them up? Why do you pretend that, um, why do you want them to pretend to tell you lies that they love you when they don't? We have the wolf. Guardian, you are safe and protected at all times. So interesting, the tree is also about family. So maybe you can seek some solace in your family. Perhaps you can actually ask somebody to in the family confide in them. I feel I've got a I've got a song Confide in Me coming up now by um Kylie Minogue, Confide in Me. Uh, I feel because the, the wolf it's about family as well so maybe there's somebody in the family you can confide in uh, we'll have a look at an ascended master card do we need to confide in somebody how are we going to sort this out we have hmm, follow your heart Saint Francis Okay, so maybe there's a little way left to go in this relationship. Um, follow your heart. You've got to go with what your heart feels. So at the moment, if you love them or you think you love them, it's like you've got to see it through to the end, perhaps. Uh, let's have a look. We'll get, read, get one of the dog cards. We all know, like with addiction, it, it's um, it, perhaps it's not the right time to let go just at the moment. Oh, forgiveness. So, yeah, there's a need to forgive them because they're not, they give you attention when they feel like it, but... Um, they don't actually say that they love you, but also the main thing is to forgive yourself for being in this guilty relationship. Let's have a see how this can move forward. How can we move forward with this? Right. Oh, we have the um, this is interesting. We have the abacus here, abacus and tortoise, abacus weighing things up so you, you're counting you're counting up maybe some of you are in this relationship because of something to do with money perhaps um do they uh 
like the affair do they um are they married perhaps some of you are they married but did they buy you presents and gifts they treat you well um they spend money on you but mainly i feel this is about weighing up the pros and cons of this relationship do i stay or do i go the tortoise um it's slow moving i don't think there's going to be a conclusion to it just yet <clears throat> It's not a race, but it's slow moving. Will there be a conclusion? Okay. Interesting. The dragonfly. It is an illusion. It's not real. And the mouse. Anxiety. So this is an illusion. Illusorily. I can't say it. Illusion. Illus illusion in this relationship is not all what it seems that's why um you feel the need that you want them to say commit to you but it doesn't look like they will because it's an illusion maybe you're in your dreams you will get answers if you ask spirit for help just before you go to sleep at night you may get some insight into what to do there's a lot of karma here the mouse is worries and anxieties, but only small anxieties. And one more, let's just have a look. The frog again, that's nervousness, um, anxiety, but also a leap of faith. Because like what it says here, follow your heart. Um, don't be too hasty. Don't be too hasty to make a decision about this. Um, you've got to see it through, I feel. But please remember to forgive yourself um, and don't beat yourself up so hard. We all have our vices. Um, we all um, we try to be the highest version of ourselves and spiritual, but we all have our vices. We're only human. So the main important thing is to forgive yourself. I hope that helps. Thank you. Hi everyone. Um, song number nine. I'm a survivor by Destiny's Child. So I think we all know this one. Um, they're in the raft. They're in the boat on the choppy sea. Uh, I think this song signifies uh, many of you who've been in a long-term relation perhaps married, perhaps you've got children that you're looking after. Uh, yes, yeah, so you're a survivor. This is the, the song of the, the woman or the man that's trying to stray strong in um, the face of adversity, adversity. You're not needy. Well, you might feel it at some point. You may feel up and down but you are strong this is the person that meditates that talks to spirit that seeks out advice regularly they've got a network of people around them let's see what the cards say <clears throat> so we have the tunnel the empress and <coughs> excuse me gentian it says um internal conflict so this is interesting here so we have the tunnel now if that if you can see that that's actually humpty dumpty <laughs> these are alice in wonderland cards so we've got it's lovely we've got humpty dumpty so i'm immediately drawn to um humpty dumpty fell off his wall um so yeah you you've fell off your wall haven't you your relationship ended you fell off your wall and you were smashed to pieces you're in this tunnel at the moment it's um the tunnel is better a more positive card than you think so you are in the dark a bit but don't forget the tunnel here is the light at the end of the tunnel you are close to seeing the light to coming out the other end so yeah don't worry too much the empress and like i said some of you may <clears throat> may be mothers fathers you may have children um 
it says here recipe for success so it's like you do have all the ingredients to make life better for yourself and your family if you have one um for the ladies watching you you are maternal um feel a strong feeling with nature with this uh it'd be good to get out in nature which will help um i feel a lot of you don't want a relationship right now because you're still feeling a bit raw um the need to concentrate on your family um yeah nurturing nurturing yourself if you haven't got a young family it's nurturing nurturing you um your friends nurturing people around you and the gentian the internal conflict as you can see the lady's on the horse there she's running away uh she's running away on the horse galloping away often you feel um a lot of conflict inside you you try to be this strong nurturing person but sometimes you just all chewed up inside and you just want to run away from be on your own or run away to a desert island let's have a look what the charms say <clears throat> we have the teddy bear the scales and the chair so teddy bear i feel it's about your inner child which would tie up with this one so if you haven't got a young family uh this is about going back to your childhood um finding the simple pleasures in life making time to play uh finding some me time the scales finding balance in life um just seek you probably seeking justice this can be about contracts as well um maybe some of you are going through a divorce right now uh but you will find justice and the chair uh try to find time to have a rest sit down have a rest have that me time get the balance back in your life but also this could be your ex could be leaving your life there's possibility somebody new could be coming in when we're out of this tunnel and when we've dealt with all this internal conflict let's have a look at what the animal kingdom has to say Oops! all my cards have gone all over everywhere <laughs> the animal kingdom has a lot to say okay snake healing you are a healer so you do know how to heal yourself um meditation would be helpful i feel um if you're into reiki or energy healing anything like that um going to see people massage all that type of thing the snake is about shedding your layers uh so yeah every time you have a healing session um something new comes up that you need to get rid of an emotion a feeling then you are shedding your layers so you can renew <clears throat> let's have a look at an ascended master so you are healing from this which is brilliant oh this is nice archangel michael you can do it so yeah be that beyonce in that boat you can do it archangel michael confidence courage uh he's the one that um when you're frightened you ask him for help put that cloak on that invisible cloak ask him to be with you when you you're scared you need confidence uh we'll have a look at a dog card i've got a lot of cards fall on the floor 
there's a lot they want to say, Spirit. Got forgiveness to spell out. Had that in the last um, reading. Yeah, so um, forgive your ex and forgive yourself. A lot of two fell out responsibilities. This is probably towards your family. So how do we move forward with this in the future? Rest in peace. Let go of the old. Uh, you you end because you're in the tunnel. Where's the tunnel gone? You was in the tunnel. Um, you almost ready to come into the light. Let go of the old phase. You're coming out of it. We're going to enter a new phase. And cow. Oh, this is nice. Cow abundance. Abundance is coming. Uh, think about the law of attraction if you've heard of that. Um, you have the ability to create what you want, whether you want you want money, career, new career, new job. If you want a new relationship, when you're ready, you have the power to create what you want in life. So believe in yourself. One more scales. Yes, that's nice. So we've got the uh, cow there, the abundance. Here we have the anchor. We have the stability. The security is coming. Um, so, yeah, that is good. The, these last three are very good. We're getting rid of the old because we're coming out the tunnel. You can create your own abundance and you're going to feel a bit more secure uh, in your emotions and maybe finances so um i hope that's helped and good luck thank you hello everyone song 10 back for good by take that so this is gary barlow singing he's said some awful things to you <laughs> and he wants to apologize he didn't mean it but he wants you back for good. So this is about the reunion. So you've um, been through a big breakup. Um, are you going to get back together? Are you going to be back for good? Let's see what the cards say. So we have the balloon. Knight of Pentacles. And Orchid. Unbridled eroticism. Mm. So... Here he is there. There's the Gary Barlow character. <laughs> Whether you're a man or a woman, the male energy around here. So <clears throat> I feel this bit here, um, so the balloon, I feel in this situation, it's the rising stress. This man here, this male energy, um, very focused on providing uh in the relationship for money and career i think they've had a lot i feel they had a lot of uh stress with work and money um for some reason and they've, they've sort of um said some they've been very stressed and said some things that they shouldn't have done and they want to apologize um yes rising stress at work and money because they're trying to provide a very career and money focused person around this relationship <clears throat> however on a different note they really 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 miss you physically really fancy the pants off you <laughs> They do have, they think about you all the time in that way, you know, in those quiet moments when they're on their own. They they really miss you in that way. Um, but their work was stressing them too much at the time. Let's have a look at the charms. We have the walking cane, the guitar, and the camel. So, the cane is about support. 
if you do get back together you'll be able to support each other this could be support financially that I think I feel they've felt like they let you down uh, in some way with money and work but you'll be able to support each other um, if you do get back together you'll be able to support each other um, better whereas perhaps it wasn't there before the guitar is lovely harmony coming in more harmony harmonious relationship um, but you may have to pull some strings to get back together um, there's some work to be done the camel it's a long road it's a long journey you do have responsibilities on your back in this relationship um, but you will get there in the end sure-footed so let's have a look um, we'll have a look what the animal kingdom has to say because if you want to know are you going to get back together I presume snake you are a healer we had that in the last one so yeah there's some healing going on now feels like the male energy the man's healing from it and you are as well so you're shedding new layers um the bit that's gone wrong in the past you still need to do some healing before you can get back together if you want to uh, you've got to pull some strings to get back together um, you've got to heal the bit that's gone before so you can start again I feel there's a need to um, if you do get back together is to uh, start a new start as a new relationship let's have a look at another card Oh, okay. Detach from drama, Pallas Athena. So, yeah, there must have been some huge arguments. Not Perhaps not necessarily with the two of you. I feel that the, the man had some problems detaching from drama at work, I feel maybe his boss um I feel drawn perhaps his boss used to um calling him in to work all the time you know when you should have been together that they, they took up too much time so but also this is a warning to you um when things are getting too much just withdraw slightly don't get involved in all the dramas with other people uh, let's have a look at a dog card. Are you going to get back together? Oh, okay. Don't look back. That's interesting. So, on the one hand, there's some healing to be done, but try and forget about the past we've got to move forward don't don't examine the past too much of course do your healing do your healing but then um move forward try and move forward with this i feel that there's something to be rescued here let's have a look we have the spider was their mother a bit of a problem the whirlwind and this is oh a rhino rhinoceros we have quite a bit going on here so the spiders weaving their web some of you interfering mother-in-law or interfering mother spider an older female in uh, the something to do with a pair of you gossiping about things uh, there needs to be a bit of a whirlwind to sort things out things need to move quickly and the rhino there's quite a bit of anger with the detached from drama the rhinoceros charging forward without thinking there's some anger going on here to be honest I'm not totally sure 
if you will be back together for good um obviously there's some healing let's have a look oh okay a new adventure awaits embrace it new beginnings live your dreams passionately so there are new beginnings because we don't look back there's new beginnings but is it with this person is it with them you see they're saying they want you back but there is a new beginning but is it with them it's not clear is it hand sharing friendship beauty i think i feel you've got to make your own mind up really late okay ladybird a new love hmm obviously this is a general reading take of it what you want but they're wanting you back they are lusting after you they've had pressures at work but i feel if you get got back with them there'd be a, a lot of arguments going off uh maybe to do with their workplace maybe to do with their mom um so yeah but ladybird new relationship is that with them or somebody new I leave you to decide there's a new relationship at some point for you but if you get back with them be prepared for some anger okay I hope that's helped thank you hello song 11 people that don't impress me that much by Shania Twain I just love this song so obviously it's about oh you've got all these people around you trying to chat you up oh they've got a nice car oh they think they're Elvis oh this and that but are they gonna prove themselves are they actually going to be any good for you in a relationship or are they just all talk let's have a look what the cards say we have child the high priestess and alpine star tenacious attachment so this is interesting <clears throat> the child can mean something new the start of something new new relationship but obviously also it can mean immaturity or it can mean a child like um, in a rela relationship so having fun in this case I feel yes new but also immaturity an immature person the high priestess that says secret syrup i feel that um you've got to use your intuition with this person or people around you one in particular that's you know a bit immature perhaps a bit childlike in nature you've got to use your intuition and you've got to do a bit of detective work find out a bit about them um but from your own intuition trust your gut feeling with this i feel now tenacious attachment this comes up when you're sort of only a little bit interested this could be like internet dating perhaps online dating you know you have a, there's a lot of people around you're trying to find out stuff and that but there's only um a small attachment to them there's nothing much really going on just yet it's all very new it's all up in the air there's only a little bit of information so you're keeping them at arm's length let's have a look what the charms say we have the the dress the female the spider and the rose so the dress the female if you are female that is you that is the feminine energy um the sensitive side of you um the nurturing side of you the the spider i feel on this occasion is is about weaving the web i always feel 
it is about the internet so i feel this a lot of you this will be a online dating lots of connections all over the place the rose perhaps this person here uh says nice things oh you look pretty you look nice a uh, bit of flattery going on but of course there's the thorns beneath are they going to hurt you are you going to get hurt let's have a look at what the animal cards say at the moment it doesn't look like it's much of an attachment does it so let's have a look fox adaptability adapt to the changes that are happening of course the fox is sly and crafty and clever um so there's a need to adapt to this um maybe one day they say something oh yeah come for a spin in my car and the next day perhaps you don't hear from them so um you know don't get stuck in your ways fixed in your ways with this keep your i'd say keep your um options open keep your mind uh open let's have a look a bit more at this so let's have a look at an ascended masters this is probably the adaptability also could be with new things coming out that you find out follow your heart saint francis so deep down you know what to do really with this person you, you kind of you, you will find out with using your own intuition whether it's worth it or not just follow your heart if you're really not sure ask for spirit for help um meditate on it enthusiasm okay you've got to feel enthusiasm for this for dating so if you're not feeling the enthusiasm you do have the tenacious attachment there's only a small interest if you don't have the enthusiasm don't go for it but if you're feeling enthusiastic give it a whirl perhaps let's have a look are they worth it dog okay friendship keep the um lines of friendship open at the moment you need to trust them and uh feel their loyalty there's no harm in being friends with them if you like them um <clears throat> okay cow interesting abundance um like a shania twain uh goes on about you know all the loaded they look like they like elvis they've got a car so maybe you're being swayed by the things they've got feet this is interesting keep your feet on the ground so don't necessarily get swayed by what they've got maybe they've got a nice house they're well off they're showery with gifts but if you are enthusiastic if you do like them just stay friends for now um pinch of salt use your intuition but keep your feet on the ground is it going to lead to anything shall we see one final charm yin and yang okay so this is like balance isn't it the masculine the feminine um about feeling complete do they make you feel complete maybe if they've got too much of an ego they're not bit of anxiety there's small worries there all i can say is whoops if they if you feel enthusiastic about this try not to get swayed by what they have got keep your feet on the ground um try and find the balance within you that's all i can say it really is up to you but at the moment it's a bit of a small attachment but if you feel enthusiastic about them 
abundance grapes but the grapes lots of options so I'd say keep your options open the grapes hang around in bunches don't they there's more than one man or woman out there so yeah keep your options open you can be friends with them if you're if you feel enthusiastic about and interested in enough but keep your feet on the ground because you need to feel that balance within but remember there's plenty of options around so i hope that's helped thank you hello option 12 song number 12 booty call by all saints so this is the classic friends with benefits song so the woman in it in it is singing bring it on bring it on bring it on um it's just a booty call so she's single but she's lonely she just wants you know the physical side and that's it and then you go back to your own lights for the rest of the week she's bringing him up late at night um but the thing is do we know really does she really want to keep it like that would she like this to develop into a proper relationship serious relationship is he just for all right for now does she feel bad about it deep down we don't really know do we so let's have a look at what's going on we have the mushroom <clears throat> the knight of wands and christmas rose a gift of love I don't think you can see that it says a gift of love so the mushroom clearly a toxic relationship poisonous relationship deep down we, we know that um, it's not that great for us that it is toxic the knight of wands the male the masculine energy in this um, full of action um comes into your life quickly but leaves your life just as quickly um maybe aggressive assertive look at him he's on his bike and he's going pop pop <laughs> um yeah so a toxic relationship with a masculine energy that's um yeah full of action or oh, sort of like all mouth but no trousers <laughs> As regards taking this further however we have Christmas rose a gift of love so what is going on there I feel in this situation um, obviously we're just right interesting that it says Christmas rose Christmas coming up it's um, 14th of December 2019 today so um, I feel that they may give you a Christmas present which will keep you interested still so is something more going to develop from this there's some way that you will be together for a short while at Christmas let's have a look at the charms interesting this has come out we have the handcuffs tied up wrapped around the tunnel came out like that the tunnel is about being in the dark um, but obviously there's a light at the end of the tunnel so we're a bit trapped in the dark now um, probably from the you know we've got the toxins inside of us we feel that yes this is a toxic relationship I shouldn't really be in it um, I probably will escape from this tunnel eventually but at the moment we've got the handcuffs uh, there's a blockage um, we're not able to get away from this at the moment maybe through choice our own choice uh, blockages restrictions um, I'll say this now the, the the handcuffs can also be about sex so there you go <laughs> uh, so maybe we're stuck with the um, we're in a in a dark tunnel about sex I don't know but that can be an interpretation but we're stuck in the dark with this relationship but they're gonna do something nice for you at Christmas let's have a look 
at the animal kingdom what they've got to say because maybe you're happy with this situation for now they'll do for now or do you want something to develop with it or do you just want to you just want the love of your real love of your life to come through let's have a look okay we have <clears throat> the beaver productiveness go ahead and just do it what's that then what have you got to go ahead and just do it is this carry on with this fling not sure let's have a look a bit further going ahead with this fling or dumping them well they're going to be around till christmas perhaps this is the gift of parting i don't know let's have a look crystals epona hmm well i feel that um maybe you should get the rose quartz out and meditate with that because the rose quartz is your heart chakra um <clears throat> meditate with rose quartz get out in nature um we've got the unicorn in here uh fantasy perhaps a bit of a sexual fantasy going on um but it'd be good to get the rose quartz out and meditate with that and find out if this is what you really want from your love life right now let's we'll have get a heart card out they're falling all over the place <laughs> oh okay wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course which is interesting compared to the go ahead and just do it bit of a contradiction there isn't there so um that's being productive but this is weight so go ahead and just do it i feel that you've got to carry on with this fling for the time being but maybe that's about ending it i don't know allow nature to take its course so yeah the, i think the spirit is saying yeah it's like a karmic thing going on here just um you know keep on with it if you really want to remember this is a general reading keep on with it if you want to at the moment but just allow nature to take its course um what will be will be let's have a dog card it's a bit of a tricky one this is isn't it oh okay guilt well that's understandable i would have thought so yeah there's guilt there let's have a look how is this going to move forward if there is a long term well, we've got quite a bit here we've got the guitar the house and the mushroom again the mushroom this is definitely one toxic relationship anxiety is growing growing feelings of anxiety and the guilt <clears throat> you need to find some harmony there's some strings also on the negative that side they're pulling your strings or you're pulling their strings so late at night you're getting that call i feel that this is something that takes place in the home obviously i don't feel many people know about it um maybe you're at home with the family and they're pulling your strings they ring you and you feel feeling guilty about leaving to go and have this fling which makes you feel in the bit dark uh what's the resolution then time hourglass patience fate you've got to wait you've got to wait uh we have to go ahead and just do it and the wait i think you've got to find the balance when the right time okay there's something new there's turn over a new leaf <clears throat> there's a new start coming may not be till the spring though 
so as we had the christmas gift i feel between this the christmas they're gonna step up the mark a bit perhaps make you feel a bit more special um and it's gonna go on but there's a new phase coming in the springtime giraffe you're able to see ahead the future you the giraffe's tall he can see above everything else in the jungle whatever um you can see what's ahead you've got foresight so i feel with this this for some of you uh this will go on till either you turn over a new leaf there's you've got the um nature has took its course with this or next spring something will change it's going to turn over a new leaf there's a new start for you so tr obviously try not to feel too guilty and you will out come out the other side happy <clears throat> so i feel this is very faithful but good luck and thank you very much hi everyone um song number 13 let it grow by eric clapton this is probably my favorite song in this list so the lyrics are let it grow let it grow let it blossom let it grow in the wind the rain and snow love is lovely let it grow so um some of you may be at the start of a new relationship or about to start a new relationship maybe you've been with somebody for a while this feels like um a soulmate relationship it is there are it's like a daydreaming or almost there's some beautiful moments but it's like a warning to just take it at its in it at its own time its own level don't rush it don't get frustrated with it just let it blossom plant the seeds now and let it grow but let's have a look what the cards say about it so we have the tent i've got alice in wonderland going into the tent there we have the five of swords and we have tulip declared love i don't and if you can read that at the bottom it says declared love so we have sort of mixed blessings with this um the tent some of the meanings of the tent so it can be about a short break um going away for a little while uh could be a, a staycation staying at home um some tlc tender loving care or something temporary um i feel this is about um the two of you connecting together for a short while working on the relationship um giving each other some tender loving care this is good with christmas coming up the five of swords um time management is a problem maybe there's a bit of frustration that the relationship isn't going as fast along as you would like because restrictions with work and everything look at all these um scissors around the uh dress uh trying to do too much at once um causing problems there's a need to um accept your limitations a bit um and just let go let things progress naturally but there is a need to nurture each other for a short while at least but this is lovely the tulip the declared love so don't pressurize your other half because the love is there which is nice charms however we have the handcuffs and the tunnel so there are restrictions and blockages in going forward we are stuck in a tunnel but don't forget the tunnel is mostly positive because the light there is the light at the end of the tunnel so um i feel you feel great love for this person and them for you but 
we seem to be in a bit of a dark at the moment and we're feeling more pessimistic than we should do so let's see what the animal kingdom has to say about it because we want to bring more light into this relationship because it looks like it's a good one long term don't forget this is a general reading so um, take of it what you will okay we have the squirrel preparation get ready for big changes so here where i live at the moment we've just had the autumn um we're in winter now practically we are in winter and um the squirrel always reminds me of the autumn the fall we're harvest we're um, collecting the nuts getting ready for next spring is going to go into hibernation so this is the preparation time get ready for big changes which is good so maybe this feels quite new um so we're putting we're planting the seeds we're um collecting the acorns <clears throat> and we just need to be steady we just need to collect collect the acorns and be steady with it ready for next year springtime when things are really going to open up for us let's have a look at one of the advice from the ascended masters there's no rush with this freedom Heine, Heine. she's a very attractive lady okay so I feel that um, you're in this relationship or you're about to start this relationship but you still need your personal freedom that's why the tent's there so sometimes you need to retreat um, have your own space your own have some TLC have your me time so at the beginning of a relationship it can be a bit full-on uh, but we need to find the balance between I don't feel that you're living with them at the moment that we have the, the balance between um, being with them and then being on our own because we need to love ourselves first let's have a look at a dog card she's very beautiful um, nurturing yourself is important disappointment okay i feel this is the disappointment with you want it to progress a bit quicker than it is doing he looks a bit sad doesn't he and there are the restrictions and the blockages let's have a look why you feel like this let's have a heart card okay this is nice love if love is the answer why ask questions you've really got to check it slowly with this just go with, let it go at its own pace if you know the love's there between you just go with the flow with it let's see how it's going to progress into the spring into early next year okay we have the wheel of the wheel it's like the wheel of fortune going with the flow like i mentioned earlier and we have well we have the dollar sign abundance money this is interesting because we had the squirrel where's the squirrel gone so abundance money maybe this is about saving saving for a house we have the tent maybe we're saving up to move in together taking control taking the reins taking the wheel uh, moving it the way you want to maybe this is about saving up for a house together although we haven't seen the house come up but what with the gathering the nuts and wondering 
Ah, we have a baby. The baby's pram. Family, new family. Something new, a new start. And the mask. Mm, so you like uh, some sort of self-preservation going on, protecting yourself. Um, one of you isn't opening up to the other for some reason. You need to um, take off the blinkers, take off your mask and communicate better. Communicate about maybe a savings plan or about having a family. Don't rush into it though. Snowflake. This is... Uh, so this, I always think, this is a winter thing could be Christmas, could be beginning of January. It tends to snow after Christmas where I live in the UK. So the timing thing, um, something fleeting, something unique. There's going to be a unique opportunity when the snow arrives. Christmas, just after Christmas, even into February. A, a, a fleeting moment to get this all sorted and the seahorse that is again something unique something rare these two are both rare things uh, there's a rare opportunity to sort this out and let's have a look one more okay there's the scales, balance and justice is coming. You will find your balance in this relationship. The balance between your personal freedom, their personal freedom and um, being with them. So try not to worry about it. Take it steady and when you get the chance, maybe over Christmas, after Christmas, between Christmas and New Year, January, February, round about the time it snows, you'll have the opp rare opportunity to really have that chat. Perhaps you'll have a short time away. Probably not in a tent because <laughs> it'll be too cold, but there may be a short break coming up just after Christmas where you can sort this all out. But don't put too much pressure on your partner. Okay, thank you. I hope that helps. Hello, Option 14. This is the song I Just Haven't Met You Yet by Michael Bublé. So, ladies, have we not met our gorgeous Michael Bublé? And, or men, what would be the male equivalent? Who would we like to meet? Maybe Beyonce, I don't know, Jennifer Lopez, Jennifer Lawrence, I don't know. So, men, ladies, I feel that um, we're single, possibly, mostly. Some of us may be in a relationship, but they are Mr or Miss right now. The others of us are single. Um, we're quietly confident with this, though, most of the time. Uh, I feel we've done a lot of work on ourselves, and we continue to. Um, we know that they're on their way. Uh, we're not needy most of the time. Sometimes we have a bit of a wobble. Um, so I think most of us are happy happy most of the time being on our own we get insights maybe we have readings with psychics maybe we can we do the cards or whatever for ourselves maybe we get some inklings in our dreams in meditation we know this that the love of our life is coming but where are they that you haven't met them yet so i suppose the answer is when we all want to know when don't we or why what can we do to to make it move faster perhaps let's have a look what the cards have to say so we have the anchor we have the four of pentacles <clears throat> and we have this is uh 
well, it's, you can either pronounce it anemone or anemone, fleeting passion. Look at her, she's pushing the flowers away. <laughs> so I feel that the anchor, the anchor is um, security, safety. So the anchor is in one place. You put your root down in the sea kind of thing. So I feel this is about... Um, it's like wanting wanting to be tied down with somebody but the right person um finding your security the four of pentacles i feel that actually you have spirit would like you to save your resources save your pennies your dollars um get yourself sorted out financially first there's a need to build up your security um, so we're probably on our own but it's um, you maybe have been doing or they advise you to build up your resources um, yes so that they want spirit wants you to be a bit more financially secure now then um, some of you have had a go at dating maybe the online dating and there's some you know some brief flings but no she's pushing it away they haven't worked out um they hold your attention for a short while but no i'm not going there uh, and they're probably you're looking for this secure relationship and perhaps you're looking for somebody that's I don't feel you want somebody that's unemployed that well that's a bit horrible to say I suppose but you want somebody you don't want anybody rich but maybe you, you want somebody that's um, well as spiritual people it's horrible to say we, we want somebody well off but we we want somebody I don't know we want to build something together don't we uh, with the love of our life so you want somebody that's hopefully knows where they're going in life should i say they've they've saved some money as well we want a bit of security and um, maybe the people you've met haven't um, had that in their life uh, it's not going to go anywhere shall we say uh, michael buble he's quite well off isn't he <laughs> you see what i mean so the charms we have the scales and the deer so we're looking for balance and um, justice justice we want the man or lady of our dreams to to come along um, the deer I feel is our pathway a pathway through the forest sorry the light shining on this a bit uh, the pathway through the forest, our pathfinder, um, the path to our um, love of our life. It's uh, not straightforward. We move, and we move in different ways. We meet certain people, potential candidates, and then we retreat back. We try a different path. We get answers through our dreams, through having maybe having readings, like I said, through meditation. Um, it's all a journey through the forest, isn't it? Let's have a look what the animal cards have to say. So we're working our way through the path to our love of our life, our soulmate. This is the next one will hopefully be with us forever, we hope. coyote wise fool accept your follies and find the teaching in them so you are wise you have made mistakes with um your lovers yes and maybe as you had a significant relationship in the past and you've learned your lessons from it that's why you are you are confident that things will be different next time uh, let's have a look at what the Ascended Masters cards say.
Okay. Ooh. Now, this says, see the other person's point of view. I cannot pronounce this. Avalokitesvara. Okay. So this, this one and this one, accept your follies and the teachings in them and seeing the other person's view. So any potential Michael Bublé's or Beyonce's that happen to come along, um, don't be, this is probably one of your um, lessons, shall we say. Um, don't be quite so stubborn. Um, you've got to think about the other person's point of view. Your way isn't necessarily always the right way. It's about we have the balance here, don't we? The yin and the yang. So it's maybe that's the male, the female, or female, female, male, male. Um, yes, we need to be in balance. And with our point of view, their point of view, we've got to come together as one. Right, let's have a look at the dog card. I feel that they will be quite close and you will find them as you chose this song. But we have some things to iron out first, don't we? Okay, so we have, hmm, please yourself. That's nice. Please yourself for the time being and rest. So there's two here, rest and please yourself. So, yeah. Don't be in too much of a rush with this. You haven't met them yet, but just do things for yourself right now. It's important. Follow your heart. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul. Yep, yeah, follow your heart, follow your dreams. Let's, right, should we have a specific timing now, perhaps? Timing, please, spirit. Timing. When are, when are you going to meet them? Okay, timing. Teapot. Cherries. Now, that's, that's very, very useful charm. That's a very useful charm. And... Okay, does anybody know anything about astrology? Uh, I'm not so. I don't know. You might have to do some research on this. That's a specific timing. So, uh, let's put this this way around. We've got the teapot. So, friendship, uh, get-togethers, cups of tea, um, little, not parties, uh, going to people's houses, um, like a party but not a rave <laughs> so timing uh, friendship group the cherry is a new relationship okay so beginning of something sweet Saturn the plant is a the planet obviously um, it's hard work but on this occasion something to do with when Saturn is prominent I don't know. I'm not sure what Saturn's doing at the moment in the sky. What um, Maybe you could put in the comments below if you know what Saturn is doing at the moment. Something to do with Saturn for timing. Let's have a look at one more. So don't forget this is a general reading, but this is... For all of us, though, it's like a, your personal path, ballet. Oh, now, the ballet dancer is similar to the teapot. The teapot is like the friendship groups, quieter cups of tea, but the ballet dancer is actually more celebrations, parties. So there's something new going. You'll meet them when something sweet and new is going off at a small gathering. Something to do with the planet Saturn when it's prominent, when when something, I don't know, is it retrograde, is it the conjunction? 
I don't know. Uh, I'm not an astrologer, but there's a celebration. That's when you'll meet them. Saturn is also hard work and responsibilities, but it's also rewards. But we have the justice down here. So <clears throat> maybe you will go to start this friendship group, meet somebody there, and it'll be like a reward for something. And then there'll be the celebration. So just take that on board. If you know anything about Saturn, let me know because uh, it'd be useful for us all. I hope that's helped and good luck and I hope you find him or her. Thank you. Hi, option 15. So song number 15, I've had the time of my life. Um, we all know this one. So I've had the time of my life. Um, I've never felt like this before, it's the truth and I owe it all to you. So this one, you've been together probably for a while, um, you're with the right one. Or so you think, well you are, you're with the right one. And um, where's it going to go from here? Maybe you need to treat each other, thank each other. So you've got the right one. What's going to happen now? Let's just have a look, shall we? So we have the ship. We have the Hierophant. And we have Tulip, Declared Love. So the ship, overseas travel. Some of you... <clears throat> may take a trip together, a cruise, a holiday, you deserve it. Some of you may go into business. The ship can also be about commerce, you know, overseas. So some of you may travel as a couple. Some of you may start a business. Um, the ship is slow going. But that's a good thing. This is a long-term relationship. You're in it for the long haul. It's slow but steady progress. You may hit some stormy seas at some points. We all do in long-term relationships. But we learn and grow with it. The Hierophant. Um, spiritual relationship you kind of know what to do when we hit the rocky um waves you kind of know who to turn to your spirit guides your helpers you kind of even perhaps people that you know your family or friends you have some sort of person to go to uh for help when you hit those rocky waters um this is also maybe um an education learning a new skill together perhaps look, going to an evening class together learning something new or it could be educating yourselves about spirit this is lovely this is the declared love so yeah this is fantastic Let's have a look at the charms. We have the um, scales. This has been coming up a lot in all the readings. The tortoise and the flamingo standing on one leg. So these two are kind of the same really. We have the balance. So we've got the balance from the scales and the balance standing on one leg. It's a bit difficult to see that one. Uh, because they put it up there it's a bit easier because of the light um, so yeah justice you have the justice um, contracts is there a marriage contract a house um, some sort of signing of contracts house marriage wills security for the future tortoise you're in it for the long term the slow and steady race, like the ship. 
um, yes, you're in it for the long term. The flamingo, obviously, again about balance. Um, the flamingo, though. So you flock towards a group of other people. Um, maybe it's about the education, the learning, or the business. Maybe there's opportunities. Uh, internet overseas um, something you do together as a couple um, something new um, where you're in a group of like-minded people maybe a spiritual group um, some evening class that type of thing um, or sort of something to do with people from a different part of um, somewhere going to do with being over water not necessarily going there maybe this is internet it's like joining with a group of like-minded people the pair of you you do this together let's have a look what else let's see what your animal guides have to say okay <clears throat> whale soul's path honor your soul's purpose that's lovely that's this ties in with the spiritual mm, spiritual education so honor your soul's purpose but this is together maybe you have one job to do they have another job to do um but somehow you can combine it this is spiritually i don't know maybe you feel the urge to learn about for instance past lives maybe they perhaps perhaps they're not into this type of thing but perhaps they are um i think if you was in a long-term relationship and you're into this sort of thing they would have to honour it, wouldn't they? So maybe, yeah, it's like doing something together, not necessarily spiritual even, but maybe going travelling on the boat. Um, could be anything, volunteer work, um, helping people, working in a charity shop. Um, find out what you're meant to do, the pair of you together for humanity and also for the animal kingdom let's have a look at what the ascended masters have to say you've come together for a reason you love each other and you you want to thank each other really um energy oh this is getting very interesting here energy healing merlin got merlin the magician um do you do angel healing, Reiki? Um, yes, I would look into the pair of you joining some group, um, some training, or maybe sitting at home and meditating together. There's a lot you can be doing uh, for humanity. And we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the dog. This is a very positive reading very positive okay oh we have one fell out on the floor which is indecision so there's perhaps you've had an inkling about all this spiritual stuff but you're not very decisive about it perhaps it's a lack of confidence or you don't want to bring it up with your partner maybe please yourself hmm. so maybe you'll um, start on this spiritual education thing by yourself to start with and wait for them to catch up okay uh, let's have a see if there's anything else anything else how we could um, get this spiritual work underway perhaps Okay, we have the deer, the rabbit, 
and the handcuffs. Okay, the deer. Gentleness. Finding your pathway, your spiritual pathway through life. The rabbit. Creativity, fertility, the spring. Um, handcuffs. Blockages, restrictions. Because we had the healing, this could be working with now working with other people who are, are having um, problems in life. Like I mentioned, the voluntary work and the charity work. Um, some of you, don't forget this, this is a general reading. Some of you may work with people. The rabbit reminds me, they have a lot of babies, don't they? Um, maybe this is working with children. Let's have a look at one more. Cherries. Something new and sweet. There's a new opportunity coming that's spiritual for the pair of you. And I feel this is working with people that are um, less fortunate than yourselves. Their hands are tied. It's groups. Because we had the, the flamingo, the that the, the um, cherries are groups as well the seahorse something unique maybe this is because we had the ship maybe this is to do with um, the sea the seaside um, like I don't know I feel drawn to Atlantis past lives in Atlantis we have fairy as well um, sort of um, it's looking at things a bit out of the box, more fantasy type things like, I don't know, back to the past, things that you might not believe in like Atlantis and fairies. It's just looking into it with your partner and opening up and getting information from spirit. Um, anyway, I hope that's helped and Thank you and enjoy your relationship and your new education. Thank you. Hi everyone. Song number 16. Should I stay or should I go? So we've got the man. He's, um, he's wanting to know should he stay or should he go? If he stays there, there will be trouble. Should he stay or should he go? So he's like asking, maybe he's asking from his partner, partner's point of view. Perhaps he wants his partner to plead with him. Perhaps he wants his partner to work it out. Or perhaps he wants to know from the universe, his spirit guides, his helpers, his friends. This is your question. Should you stay or should you go in this relationship? Uh, what advice can we find out? Let's have a look. So we have the child, the nine of cups, and alpine star, ta tenacious attachment. So the child, it can be something new, a new situation, a new point of view. It can be an immature person. Um, yeah, so... Is there an immature person in this relationship? Is that the other person? Is that you? Um, is a child involved um, in the relationship? Is it one of your children? Is that why you're hesitating? Um, are you arguing over children? I don't know. The Nine of Clubs. I feel that, um, well, this is the wish card. As you can see, there's a Christmas tree in this card. Christmas coming up very soon. Um, so I feel that you're wishing for the domestic, the harmony at Christmas. It's like there's a new situation or there's some immaturity. Remember, this is a general reading. Take of it what it applies to you. Um, there's a wish for the happy contentment with your other half this Christmas. I feel you will get that, that there may be a truce this Christmas for the sake of the maybe the children in the family if you have them. 
but there's a, a what we call a tenacious attachment so maybe you're in i don't know maybe you're not sleeping together you're in separate rooms or something um you're not really together it's like a truce for the family for peace of mind uh to keep to keep them quiet keep uh to peace and quiet this christmas uh but it's like you're making the best of a difficult situation i feel let's have a look at the charms we have the dress the female the wing the handcuffs and the rhinoceros the rhino so the dress the female if you are female this is from the, the feminine point of view so um this is the feminine side to it you're wanting um to nurture uh it's like the gentle side of you this is what you're how you're feeling at the moment you're feeling the female emotions the gentle side so you've got a bit more passive which is different from the rhinoceros which is the aggressive it's passive aggressive going on so the wing the wing now birds are the messengers of spirit this is um the feather so this is more like uh, an angel type situation. this is the spiritual messenger so you are looking for a spiritual messenger to help you decide what to do we have the handcuffs we've been having this a lot in all the readings this is the blockages the restrictions and um, the problems and here we have the rhino the aggression the charging forward the arguments the it's like charging forward without thinking so we have a lot of different emotions going on there we've got the passive aggressive we've got the feminine and the very masculine we've got wanting the spiritual message for confirmation and we've got the blockage restriction we've got the truce for christmas but there doesn't seem to be an awful lot of love great love here to save it but let's have a look at um the animal what the animals have to say the animal kingdom it's if, if it's meant to be it's whatever's meant to be isn't it if, if we can work through it we have seal imagination immerse yourself in artistic and creative um, expression now that's interesting that doesn't seem to tie in with the rest of it i wonder what that could be maybe it's to do with your work perhaps um you need to switch off from it for the time being and just um do something creative do some art some painting whatever you like to do to switch off perhaps you because of the aggression here you need to calm down um and find some time for yourself we've got the tenacious attachment i feel that you're not quite you may be living together but not um it's like you come in to cook your meal and then they cook theirs it's all it's like you almost ready to break up perhaps let's have a look at what the ascended masters say okay we have let it go kuan yin oh i feel like singing the song from frozen now let it go now then is that the relationship or is that the anger not clear let's have a look at the heart cards what do we need to let go is it the relationship forgiveness forgive and forget life is too precious to waste well that could be either couldn't it that could be forgive and leave, leave the relationship and forgive or it could be forgive and get back together 
but there doesn't seem to be an awful lot saying apart from the Christmas time. Let's have a look how this is going to move forward. Okay. The rest in peace. The planet Saturn and the lion. Now, I think some of you will find this is over. This is a phase going out of your life. Um, obviously, it's, it's up to you. It's your relationship. Um, do what your intuition feels is right. Some of you, it will be over. The phase is going out of your life now. This is Saturn, the planet of um, restri restrictions, hard work, seriousness. The lion here, um, courage, finding courage and strength in the face of adversity. Also can be a helpful advisor. Maybe this can be in business. Maybe this is seeking advice from like a solicitor or something like that. If you need to, you know, divorce or something. Let's have a look. We also have the, mm, the baby. The baby's pumped. I feel children may be involved and that's why you're hanging on. We have the grapes, the abundance. Um, I also feel drawn to wine with this. Um, try and go out and have a bit of a nice time to sort of help with the breakup if you are going to break up. We have the mushroom. Um, a bit of anxiety, anxiety growing. It's not easy, is it? Breakups are not easy at all. Elephant, you have your memories still. Elephant never forgets. You'll always have your memories. Remember the good times. Remember the the grapes here, the abundant when you was happy together, and um, things were better and you went out and had fun right i'm going to find we need something to uplift you right at the end don't we okay let's bring some upliftment please spirit please remember that it's your choice okay pathfinder we've been having the deer a lot trust your instincts to guide you through this situation the deer is gentle sometimes they're nervous but yeah trust your instincts you will find your your path through this um put your children first if you have them if you don't look after your inner child um there's a helpful person in business probably to help you you will find the courage um, and um, remember it's your choice and um, uh, God bless you and I hope you have a lovely Christmas and a great 2020. Thank you.